we have arrived uh, and there is some interesting debris I want to check out there. And that crack is the perfect wind shelter. I can't put the boat here. The boat will like, you know, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Sorry for my English. So I need to go around and check if there's any spot on the other side of the island. We are on the island. Energy is low. <laughs> Complaining already. So I need to find a place where I can um, create a camp. Tough terrain to walk in. Also with the rain now, it's very, very slippery. I have to find a way here, this way. It started to rain a lot more. I think I can cover under that bin. Oh, fuck. Oh my God, fuck. Okay, this pine tree is a little cover for the rain. Thank God. It's full of blackberries as well. Oh, I dropped my knife. Uh, the equipment I brought, talking, dropping a knife, is an axe. It's this knife, it's a blanket and it's a sleeping bag. So that's it. And the camera gear, yeah. Oh, it goes a long way in. There's blackberries absolutely everywhere. Oof. Oh, it goes in very far. Look here. Oh, I could sleep down here. I see like 10 meters more in there. I don't know if you see it in the camera. But it's a very long crack. I will try to explore the rest of the island and then decide where to camp. This island is so hard to walk around. It's so slippery, it's so hilly, it's stones, it's... Woo! I walked a bit and the island's characteristics is changing. So I, I am more hopeful to find a good spot to camp in that direction. That is a kind of good spot I will show you. Here. It looks really dry, even though it has been raining. This pine tree is really good weather protection and it's protected from all winds in all directions. There is a lot of old trees, fallen trees. It looks so untouched, this nature. This kind of love. It's usually only growing in the northern parts of Sweden where the air is very clean. Cool tree. Oh, that was a big eagle. My energy is starting to get really low. This island has so many different kind of natures, characteristics. <laughs> I'm trying to walk in the forest where it's not so slippery. Look at this one. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> this like stone formation from nowhere. It is something I've seen a lot of times before, but it's so strange. It's so weird. Like there are big cliffs, big stones, and then in the middle of the island, there is just a big area of these sized stones. How was that created? Please someone fill me in. I would really like to know. Maybe there is an entrance to Agartha down below. Who knows? I did not find the first place that I wanted to build a camp, but I think this is perfect. I will sleep here and uh, find some trees to cut down. Come on, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Fucking rest. Oh. Just one fly disturbing my peace. It's the uh, first version of this camp, at least. This is interesting. Yeah, I think I need to cover my legs a little bit more because I can't go further in. It's very Spartan in here, you know. Maybe I can see the stars through here tonight. <laughs> Okay, that's not the eatable shroom, but there is a lot of mushrooms. This is not real chantarelle. It's eatable, but not that tasty, so... I get dizzy. I get really dizzy, and every time I take a big step, I feel dizzy. Okay, I reached the coast. It's always interesting to see what kind of debris you can find. And I think I see something. I'm oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look. This is my hand. This is the rope. And it's like seriously. That's insane. Must have been to a big ferry or something. At least. This is a really nice spot. The weather is clearing up. And I think I will do a just breathing exercise. To just enjoy this time in nature. Because the biggest reason why I do this is just to enjoy nature. Okay, round one of breathing exercises done. And uh, we have one more finding here on the island. How did it end up here? How did it end up here? Humans spill their shit everywhere, so not a surprise. This feels really dry. I think I could use this to create fire. I think this will be enough. I have nothing that stops the fire here. It will just keep burning all around. I need to find a new place. I can start a fire here. good plan <laughs> my plan now is I'm going to create a big fire but at the coast where there is no risk for the whole yeah whole forest taking fires also I will pray for the rain not coming back then I can sleep under the night sky okay I'm not guilty of this one it was already here but it's perfect located
Okay, now we have a real fire and I will just try to feed this. So I don't know really if I have a, have a plan. I'm just going with the flow. It's amazing the weather changed to the sea grasping this opportunity to just enjoy where we come from, the nature. This big wood gives me time. So I'm going to go back to the previous camp and uh, get my gear. Everything is packed and uh, <coughs> we say goodbye to our little <laughs> Very short lived, very short lived home. This could be. Yeah! This is a really good mushroom. Call you one, we call it in Swedish, after a king, I think. Yeah, I just need to. I need to cook it somehow. I wouldn't eat it raw because all of these kind of mushrooms is called sop in Swedish. You are sensitive. Your your stomach is sensitive, so you need to cook it for a long at least half an hour I think it is to remove all the side effects. I feel so dirty. I need to take this bath. It's a perfect spot. Yeah. This is much more my true spirit. All those clothes. Really nice hit. Really nice hit. Woo! It's starting to blow a lot more and uh, you can see it on the fire. Yes. So I'm little worried now. Do I, is this enough shelter for the night? Hmm. I think I decided just to focus on this evening, this fire. Eating I can do another day, you know. <laughs> you could even eat this. If you cook this, it's eatable. I've been eating it before when it was emergency. Right now, I don't need it. I just need nature myself. <sighs> Being grounded, the shoes gone. That was nice to walk barefoot. That does a lot. <sighs> The wind has continued to increase as I need to check the boat. I think I need to row around the island to this spot. It's starting to get cold as well. This one is big. Live in here under the tree. It's so massive. I cannot go through there. Oof. It's slippery as well. As soon as I put on my shoes, I lose the connection to Mother Earth. Spider. 
Oh, this terrain looks even worse. I need to go to the boat. Don't think I was there. Shit. This is like a jungle. Oh my god, how did this happen? Shit. Okay, I need to move the boat. I just need to get around the, the island. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> this should work perfectly. <sighs> that did cost a lot of energy. But it was fun. Fuck, there is rain. I can feel rain. Oh, I did gamble. No shelter. If there will be a lot of rain, this will be tough. At least I have fire and wood. This moment oh, needs some clarification. So I'm going to do another <sighs> deep breathing, but not with an ax in my tummy. So this is my view right now. Even if the wind is picking up and the rain is coming. It's so much peace in me right now. Look at this one. Look at this one. That is a lot of wood. Perfect. I'm gonna sit here enjoying the fire, breathing. Enjoying the heat from this fire that I gathered almost half the day. Okay, this cozy fire night did not happen. I did panic because the rain started to come and I take, took the sleeping bag and am I lying now in under a tree. Right now I'm hungry, thirsty, I might need to call some help soon. It's been an awful night. The wind is very strong. So nothing is going as I want. I need to come up with something. This is starting to become a nightmare. The waves is really high. I have not drunk any water for over uh, one, one, uh, one day now. And I haven't been eating for many days. Uh, I'm going to try, I don't know if you see it, but the wind is going this direction. I will go Try to go around that island to be able to get some protection from the wind. It's on the level where the, you should not go out with a rowing boat, but it's either that or call the sea rescue. So I have to do it. Exciting journey though. Now I found a place on this island for the boat. 
Oh my god. That was so intense. I, I would like to record more and tell you about the situation, but the ocean was so intense. I managed not to come home at all, because the wind is too strong and my energy is too low. But I managed to come to this island. It's a big, big island. Now I'm going to walk a long while with all this heavy gear to a harbor, a small harbor where my aunt is going to pick me up and take me home. So she's going, going so, so my aunt is going f far away from her place with her boat just to pick me up and uh, help me home. She will also bring some food and water. Thank God. Slow walk to the harbor. Okay, I found some berries. This walk is exhausting. Mm. Mm -mm. Very sour, but very much needed. I finally arrived. That was one of the toughest things I've ever done. Please comment down below what you think about this adventure and what do you want to see in the future. I think I won't take the rowing boat out on islands for a while though. <sighs> There's my savior! Yeah. Rescue mission on! <laughs> 